Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to back up your file, uh, sorry, back up your course. So this is the English 101 course on C4, which is a Moodle system, and at the moment I'm looking at the course. I've just uploaded my course outline and everything looks good. Now you should be backing up your course on a fairly regular basis. I always back up my courses at the end of every course, but you might want to also back up your course at midterm just so that you've got something to to fall back on in, in case anything happens. Uh, the system is very stable, but accidents do happen, and so it's always a good idea to back up important files. And the C4 courses are important files, especially when your course gets quite big. So to back up, just have a look under administration, click on backup, and it will open up. Now essentially it asks you what you want to back up, and I select to back up everything just so that I never lose anything. So I'm going to back up the course. I don't really need the logs. Logs are basically uh, records of who has been in and what have they done. So right now I'm not worried. I'm not storing grades online, so I'll just leave that as it is. And... Uh, Basically, just click on continue. I uh, didn't need to change anything at all, and it just tells you what's going to happen. Just click on scroll down, click on continue, and now it's backing up the course. So the course has now been backed up. Now you'll need to scroll down to see the message backup completed successfully. Now, if you haven't got much on your course, and obviously on this course I've only got one course outline and a few. Uh, participants. It's not going to take very long. If you've got a lot of items on your course it may take some time. Just be patient, scroll down and wait to see th this message and then click on continue. And now there is your backup file. Now notice it's also stored on your course in the files folder under backup data and there is a file. Now this file can be saved to your hard drive and notice that one of the options is to restore that this will restore your course from this file uh, you can rename the file if you like but if you don't rename it it will store the name of the course and the current date and the current time as the file name now if I click on this it will allow me to save this file to my hard drive or to a USB flash drive or wherever I want to save it. It's a good idea to save a separate copy so that you've always got a copy of your course should anything happen and we need to reinstall the C4 system which has not happened so the system is very stable uh, but you should always take a backup at least at the end of the semester. And you just click on OK and that's it, your file has been saved to your hard drive wherever you chose to save it. And now I can go back to my course knowing that my file has been backed up. Now a backed up file is stored as part of the files for your course and of course the course administrator or the Moodle C4 administrator will do a backup of all courses and all files. So essentially we've got a double backup and we should be quite safe in case any disaster happens. And that's the end of this video.